Shalom. My name is Kenneth. Welcome to part two of my teaching that I did title Creation is Groaning as a Result of Man's Wickedness. All creation is mourning or rather groaning as a result of man's wickedness. We all understand that we are living at a very dangerous time. The days when we have climate change, the days when we have a different issues from the weather or rather from the climate. And these are but signs that the days that we are living in are indeed very perilous. If, if you've not had or you are in a neighborhood where they have experienced the tsunamis, where they have experienced the tornadoes, where they have experienced the hurricanes, you can tell that indeed these days are very dangerous. Now I want to go into the scripture so that we can see in depth why is the earth groaning? Why is the world groaning? I want us to read uh, in the scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 24 and verses 5. I am going to read from the King James. Isaiah chapter 24 and verses 5. It says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Now, from, from the portion of the scripture I've just read, Isaiah gives a very gloom picture of what has happened to the earth. And he says that the earth is defiled under the inhabitants. These inhabitants are men, they are women and men like me. They have transgressed the laws. They have gone against Torah of Yahuwah. They have changed the ordinances and they have also broken the everlasting covenant. Now, this gloomy picture that is painted by Prophet Isaiah is the reason as to why the earth is groaning. This is the main reason as to why the earth is mourning. This is the reason as to why everything seems to have changed. And this is as, as a result of man's wickedness. Now, when Yah did create the heavens and the earth, the Bible says that he used his own hands to lay the foundation of the earth. And he also used his right hand for him to span the heavens. And I love something as put by Paul when he's writing to the Ephesian. And I think I just need to read it so that you can get an in-depth understanding of who you are and why the earth is groaning. The Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and verses 4. I am going to read quickly. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Now, the, right, the rightful position of a man is in the creation. And the man ought to understand that, that before the foundation of the earth, he was chosen that he should be, number one, holy, and number two, blameless in love before Yahuwah. That is before the foundations of the earth. Yahuwah did use his own hand to lay the foundations of the earth. And uh, before laying the foundation of the earth, he had chosen man who will come and be the administrator. He had chosen man so that man will come and have dominion over his creation. Now, when I take us back in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, we get something that is very interesting. Now, Adam, when I'm looking at the first thing, Adam sins against Yahuwah. And when he sins against Yahuwah, this is what happens. Yah calls Adam, Yahuwah calls Adam, and he asks Adam, what has happened? Of course, I know Yahuwah knew what has happened, but he wanted to get... Adam's part of the story. Adam had just eaten of the forbidden fruit. 
And when you had, uh, and when he was asked by Yahuwah what had happened, this is what Adam did say. Adam said to Yahuwah that the that it is this woman that you gave me. Okay, it is the nature of human beings for us to shift blame. And I know you, or probably your friend, you've had an experience whereby you will shift blame. This did also happen with the first man. When Eve, would, when, was, when Eve was asked what had happened, he did shift the blame to the serpent. And when Adam, had asked, when Adam was asked what had happened, he shifted the blame to Eve. That's the nature of man. But I will not delve into that. Adam said, it is this woman that you gave me that made me to eat of the forbidden food. Now, when Yahuwah had put Adam in that garden, he had given him his righteous instructions. He had given him the laws that were to stipulate. He had given him the righteous instructions that were to guide his daily living in the Garden of Eden. But he listened to his wife, and through listening to his wife, Adam did transgress against the righteous instruction of Yahuwah, and therefore, he ate of the forbidden food. Now, this is interesting, and I, I just want everyone to listen. This is very, very interesting. Now, most of us would think that uh, Yahuwah did curse Adam. This is not true. Yahuwah never cursed Adam at no particular time. Look, when Yahuwah did create Adam, he did create him in his, in his own form, in his own likeness and his and in his own image there is no point at which yah could curse adam because he will be cursing his own image and let us look at that curse that was given when adam did transgress that is in the bible that is that is in the book of genesis genesis chapter 3 genesis chapter 3 quickly genesis chapter 3 I am there. Genesis chapter 3 and verses 17. The Bible teaches, And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast akin unto the voice of thy wife, I am reading from the King James, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cast is the ground for their sake. Look at that. Yahuwah never cast Adam, but he cast the ground, he cast the dust, he cast the earth. Now, Yahuwah created Adam in his own form and his own likeness. He could never, he could never have cursed his image. And therefore, the curse, the curse unto Adam was not direct, but it was directed to the earth. Because man came from the dust. And all of us, we understand that when we die, we return to the dust. And I want us to get this picture because it will help you to understand what I'm talking about. The creation is groaning as a result of the wickedness of man. Here, the creation, that is the earth, is cursed because of the sin of man. Now, the earth or the dust did not sin, but it received the curse of a man. Because when he created man, he created him in his own likeness, and therefore he could not have cursed man. So the curse went to the earth. The curse went to the dust. Today, the earth is cursed because of a man's sin. Now, I will also read the Bible in the book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verses 5. Psalms 104 and verses 5. Psalms 104 and verses 5. It says, Who laid the foundation of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Yahuwah laid the foundation of the earth that they should not be removed forever and when he laid the foundation of the earth he laid them that 
when man comes man will have a home where he will live man will have a place where he will be able to carry on his daily activities but when man has been given a home that is the earth and he has been charged to have a dominion to have what to control over the earth man is transgressing and the true transgression of man and through breaking of the everlasting covenant that Yahuwah had with man this land is defiled many a time we have defied the land where we are in we have shed innocent blood I will not delve into that teaching of 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 the innocent blood that we continually shed but through the blood that we've shed we have defiled the land and the land is grown we have we have women committed we have women that are we have women that are doing a various dirty 